Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your payment processing for payouts. So, um, the first thing you need to do is to log into your My Daily Choice Back Office, no, not Akash, My Daily uh, Choice Back Office, right? Then you come over here to the menu options, come to under, we, under, uh, under uh, My Account, you select Payout Options. Anything. okay so once you select payout options just look at your data make sure it's correct because there's something about US company they do not joke with arrange name arrangements if for example your name is Solomon S David and you go and register S David Solomon they will not accept it so first of all make sure everything here is correct make sure everything here is correct and then uh check the spellings make sure your first name is where your first name is because once you click on create and activate is this data that will be sent to ip out do you understand and once ip out which is the payment partner that i use for this for processing of payment for my daily choice once they accept it you have no means of correcting except you come and correct it back from here then they have to now communicate with um, IPR so this is why it's very very crucial for you to go ahead and make sure everything is correct once you do you go ahead and click on create and activate okay so after creating and activating they are going to send you an email and the email will say something like congratulations your email sign up is almost complete here is the link to complete your uh, sign up right and then there will be a username and a password there so what you're going to do in this case is you're going to click on the link to your browser you're going to click on the link to open the browser and this is where the real work starts where you're going to fill your form and details and everything okay so it's going to take you to this blue page on the blue page they're going to confirm your details i think it's going to automatically carry the details you submitted to uh, my daily choice already then after that uh, after you fill it, you will need to approve your documents. There will be a space where you approve your documents. Then you will also fill the what you call the B8 form, Ben form. That form is the form that exempts you. It, it basically says, okay, yes, I'm doing a business with a US company, but I'm not resident in the US. For that reason, I'm not paying, I'm not subjected to paying the 40% tax returns to the government. Okay, so once you sign that form, they now know that, okay, you are just doing business with a U.S. company, but you are not a uh, resident in the U.S. And for that, you will not have to pay the money uh, in tax every month. That's actually the essence of filling the top it Ben. Okay, so upon creation, they brought me, this is the link. So what you have to do is to click on continue. This for better view, it's better you use your laptop. I'm having the... the, the View here I don't know it's not giving me what I want so if you want a better view it's better you use your laptop okay so um, I'm going to log in now okay so this is where you get to log in to your to the uh, details they sent to you via email okay you're going to copy the email and log in okay so that you'll be able to complete your registration the setup is a little bit tasking but just follow through you'll be able to do it okay so and there's a tutorial video here you can actually close it and go ahead and close it but you can watch it actually you can watch it i'm closing it because i've watched it and i know what is on the video so you see what i'm saying i think it's way better to do this on your with your laptop okay so i was able to manage to just fill this form so please make sure you confirm everything is correct then I, I avoid this the company name avoid it there is again if you're using i think company stuff but just uh, leave it so you come over here depending on what you're using so if you're using your license number you copy the license number if you're using government id you copy it that's what government id could be things like a national id card voters card anything government right so but if you're using passport you can leave it on passport then please come over down here and check these three uh, uh, menu okay then you're expected to create a six digit pin you're expected to create a six digit pin and then whatever you create here is what you also click in the uh, you also create in the confirm then you also create a three question you create three questions here okay so um 
you go, go ahead and create answers to it once you do that you create the first one you create the second one so due to security reasons i'm going to pause because i won't want people seeing mine okay so please permit me but just take note that that's all you have to do on this okay so once you do that they'll bring you to this page confirming your details and then you go okay so once you do that they will now bring you back to uh, enter that first password they gave to you the last time so that you'll be able to change it to what you really want so you go ahead and paste it here then you create your new password then you enter your pin to confirm then you update once you update it will take you to where you will be filling your ID and uh, this is where uh, the real stuff starts right but already while you are here your money your account has already been activated once it activated it means money could now be paid directly to here to, uh, from MDC but getting it out you have to do this verification so and in the verification is where we have the W8 form to access the W8 form um, just start by filling this individually okay okay so um, I'm going to upload my government ID now and then we have the front the request for the front and the back okay and then the W8 form so for the W8 form here you just click on complete yeah once you click it um, you the most important part is here you need to sign it so for here you can just fill in your name just fill in your name and then um, once you fill it in just check through then go ahead and click on go ahead and click on submit it automatically say you've submitted and you've completed it it's come somehow automated so if you come down and check you see w8 form completed okay so now the only thing i have to do now is just to upload my passport or driver's license whichever one it is to you we are going to upload the front and the back and we are done So once you upload it click on upload here you can see this blue button once you click on upload you go ahead and click on the front upload then upload the back again click on upload then allow it to upload this way okay so yeah so i've uploaded the front as you can see now i'm going to upload the back let me see oh did it take the boot so once you upload okay so i've uploaded the front okay so now i'm going to upload the back how oh, you just tap here open it then upload the back done then you click on upload document you watch it actually you watch this bar upload so again like i said for better experience you can use your laptop so if you don't have a laptop you can actually use your phone just like i did okay so once you're able to do it, you should be able to complete the process. This is the last process. Once uh, they see a document verifying that this is me, I'm good to go. Okay, so yeah, I think it doesn't even take long. As long as uh, the office opens, as long as it's, uh, that's US time, it's office hours, they don't, they don't take a long time before approving it and you're good to go. Okay, so you see pending, pending. Okay, so this one even already said completed. It means they verified this one. So remaining this one. Okay, so once they verify it, this is uh, how you receive an email and then it will tell you that you now have full access to your uh, e wallet uh, board. And then anytime payments are paid, they will automatically come to your dashboard unless you go and say credit my credit wallet instead then that is when mdc will now credit your mdc because i discovered that when you when you leave it at credit my back office you could actually use the money to pay for your back for your subscription just in case okay so that's it i hope you got value thank you for watching this video feel free to subscribe and share this video to other people